All right, so a lot of things, you know, nowadays is related to electronics. You know, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, live scope and other things like that. Uh, obviously, having electronics helps you. I mean, I'm out here in the middle of the lake right now, and, you know, I have no control of, of what I know. I mean, I don't know what's on this hump. I don't know what's on this point. You know, just looking into the water, it's 16 to 20 feet deep. But when I pan down to my two units I have going here, I actually have two live scopes set up. One of them is on perspective mode. These are both Garmin's. One of them's on perspective mode, so I'm getting a lay of the land. Basically, in my eyes, it's a picture on the bottom, similar to, uh, you know, side view on a Garmin, basically at my bow. So I know that this weed point, you know, is angling this perspective mode. I can angle it, you know, it's 10, 10 feet to the left. So this weed point is, you know, 10 feet to the left, approximately, you know, 55 feet out. I can see that, you know, cast 10 degrees to my left, cast at it. There's no more wasted cast. Uh, you don't want to be, you know, casting, you know, if I cast it here to my left, you know, at a, at a 90, I'm basically casting at nothing. I don't want to be casting at nothing. I want to be casting at, you know, where the fish are, obviously. So in combination, when I have these two units going at the same time, I can also see on my forward facing view, I can see my bait. Uh, forward facing view is for more of seeing your bait, you know, seeing how, how tall the structure is. Here we have weeds that are coming, you know, roughly about five feet off the bottom. I can watch my bait fall into the weeds. I'm not necessarily looking at the fish. I just want to see where my bait's falling. If it's falling into the strike zone, strike zone that way you know i'm anticipating a bite when that bait gets down there i'm not you know second guessing myself i don't know if there's a fish there i don't know if there's a fish there next thing you know he eats and he catches me off guard and then i don't catch that fish uh i want to be prepared at all times and having two transducers lets you do so and it keeps you in the strike zone at all times so my other graph that i have on the side here you know in combination with my two uh transducers from garmin is my mapping. Uh, the mapping is the most important tool. You know, it lets me know that I'm on this point or, you know, if I, if I place a waypoint on this weed point right here, I'm not going within 50 feet of that waypoint at all times. Now, obviously, live scope helps you stay in that area too, but having that, you know, basically that second security blanket, knowing that you're on the spot on the spot, you can zoom in as close as you want. So using the Garmin mapping obviously helps me stay on the high percentage areas and helps me catch more bass.